You may have heard about people going to great lengths to get more energy in the morning, including getting B12 injections. But have you heard about people vaping it? Some worry you could end up inhaling too much. Do you research what's next in the vaping world? Yeah, all the time. Allison Vandeveld knows the nicotine they sell in their Sheboygan vaping store delivers a direct hit to their customers' bodies. It goes uh, to the receptors for nicotine and then it um, ends that craving that you have in there and then hits the rest of your body going to your brain as well. Which is why she's weary about vaping B12. We won't want to put something out there that could potentially cause dangers or possibly overdosing on some sort of a vitamin. There are many links online to get your hands on this product like Nikki Walter did. She depends on a diffuser to give her an extra push to get through the day. I feel uh, like I have more energy. I know that I can go through the day without a nap. The American Lung Association's senior scientific advisor, Dr. Norman Edelman, says a whole lot more research is required to truly answer, are vitamin vapes safe? The question is, do they get into your bloodstream and do the job of vitamins? Uh, the answer is we don't know. I mean, there is little to no scientific evidence on that topic. Vandeville doesn't see vitamin vapes appearing on her shelves anytime soon, even as they plan to open two more stores in Milwaukee. Everyone's body is different for every chemical, and you need to make sure that you're getting the right vitamins, and it's not just a placebo effect saying, I took my vitamins today, I'm good. The American Lung Association also says there's no way to know yet if the vitamin vapes can cause long-term damage to your lungs. Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.